Good right here, buddy. Can you hear? Okay, cool. How's it going? Good, it's good. So obviously a little bit of change up front for you guys, scheme-wise, more of a kind of attack and even front, just first impressions of, of that kind of style and how it fits you, your, your game. Um, kind of reminds me of what we did in L.A. You know, you, you uh, got a 3-4 kind of feel to you, but it's more attack than reading and freeing up, you know, freeing up the linebackers. Uh, it's more about everybody has a gap, hit your gap, win your gap, and uh, let's go play some ball. What does it mean for your role specifically? Um, as, a, as a player? or yeah. Okay, I mean, it's good, it's good. I mean, it's... I'm playing more, you know, the strong side in, 4-I, 3, stuff like that. So I think it, it plays well into what I do. What's it like for a veteran player like you with all those young players now? I've even added two more this year. Just mm. sort of this wave. It's crazy because I don't consider myself being an old guy. But, you know, <laughs> I, I, I am, you know. Cause I, I told a guy I was 31. He was like, damn. I was like, damn. <laughs> That's not that old. <laughs> but it's cool. It's cool. I mean, uh, you know, it's a lot of young guys. But, you know, I feel like I'm young, too. So I fit in right along with him. You're the only guy on the roster over 29, aren't you? Uh, I think I read an article that said that, and that's crazy because uh, I feel like it's some it's some old rookies that we got. They look old. <laughs> Man, I was I, I, actually I met Aiden. Uh, we worked at the at the same facility in L.A. Uh, Sports Academy, and and I just seen I didn't know he was that big until I seen him. I was like, okay, like he's six six, two two something, you know, two sixty. So very big guy. He's gonna fit well into our scheme. Has a lot of juice to him. You can see it already. Um, you know, he's just going to keep getting better, and that's what's the scary thing about him. He's going to—he's a guy who's ready to learn. He'll pick—he's like a sponge. He'll pick up everything. He has his own little niches about him. But I, I'm very excited to have him on his team and on his D line. Back to the uh, the A stand for a sec. Is there any burden that comes with being the old guy or any benefit? I mean, can you boss the young guys around a little bit? A little bit. A little bit. I, I'll pull my OG card out a little <laughs> bit, and you know, maybe make somebody move a seat or something. But other than that, nothing. <laughs> No, they bring me juice boxes. <laughs> you said you don't feel old. I mean, have you, have you considered, I don't know, your, your future? Does this point of your career where you have to start thinking about something like that? Like, just how much longer you want to play? Um, I'm, I'm fortunate to, to have that thought. You know, I have thought about it. You know, I'm, I'm on a year 11, so I, I can see in my future, oh, man, it's not, I don't have too, too many, you know, more years ahead of me. So um, definitely it's just been a thought, you know, um, thinking about what I want to do. You know, I started my own podcast, doing little stuff outside of football that uh, that's going to keep me busy after I'm done. How much younger do you want? I mean, it's, you know, think of the Aaron Donald thing. Right. Like, right. Like your age, so I'm just curious I don't know, man. I never really thought about it, but if I'm blessed to play 15, you know, I think that would be great. I mean, but if I'm not, I, I'll be – happy as well i played a long time um and you know just you know i've just been so thankful how do your teammates who were rookies last year how do they look this year um they're looking a lot quicker you know they're, they're adapting you know they're, they're acting you know they're being pros you know they're watching everything in front of them uh they know the playbook so I, i'm excited to see a lot of the the growth that these guys have, have done can the young guys keep in this program guy like yourself young too when you're surrounded by so many young guys rookies first second year third players guys like levi Young in a way? Yeah, in a way, because they put me on new music all the time. And I just, I don't know some of the guys that they listen to, but I'm always willing to, you know, give it a listen. So, yeah, they do keep me a young in a way. Right. I don't know. I don't even know their name. I'm just like, that's that's a nice little beat, you know? And so, I don't really know. What type of questions do they ask? You? Like, the guy who's been around for uh -huh. a while, like, what type of questions do they ask? They ask me, what does it feel like to be old? And what does it feel like to be 11 years in? I'm like, I mean, it feels. I mean, in my in my position, it feels good. You know, I'm a guy. I never had really a serious injury. Never had really a really serious surgery. So I'm fortunate to not have gone through that. But you you ask a lot of guys in my position. You know, you hear a lot of different stories. On different teams, you wouldn't necessarily be the oldest guy, 31. But here, right. you're the only guy over 30. So it's unusual position to say that. It's, it's unusual, but uh, I came in last year as as kind of like the older guy, you know, leader type type guy. So it's kind of just flowing into that. For you guys to be better team in 2022, you guys got to be better defensively. Mm -hmm. Just what gives you um, encouragement that you guys are going to be a better unit, take that next step mm -hmm. this season? Uh, you see a lot of the guys back early this year, you know, learning the defense, um, getting in here with these coaches, you know, uh, being in the meeting room, taking extra time after practice, stuff like that. 
when you see stuff like that, it, it, it shows you that it means more to these guys. And you see them in a building, and I'm just, I mean, I'm just, I'm really excited, man. I'm, I think we're going to do a lot of good things this year. Um, but that's only for us, man. It's only for our fan base, the media, and our, and you know, our team is, you know, we're, we're the only ones that believe we're going to do some good things, and we, I, I, we plan to show them. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think maybe you're one of the guys that came here last year. Maybe you were only here for mini camp, if I remember right. Is there a reason? Or no, I just always kind of been that guy. Um, you know, last year I wanted to get around with these coaches, you know, new staff. Um, I just want to show my face. You know, they brought me here for a reason. Um, you know, this year I just, you know, so happened that all my kids are in school and, you know, I'm stuck places. So, um, uh, you know, it's just it's just been a good experience with this team. That's what I'm adding. There's a rhyme and reason for coming a little bit this year. Yeah, like, for sure. to be around the leadership thing. Mm -hmm. uh, that pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, kind of. That's what went on last year. This year was a little, like I said, just dealing with kids and stuff like that. As the defensive line getting that sack total up, I know that's an emphasis. You mm -hmm. see it being emphasized in the Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, I mean when you add a guy like you know Hutch to your team, man, it, it, it definitely opens it up. You know, um, I, I feel like he's gonna get a lot of looks. He's 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 got a lot of juice off the edge, man. Um, and you open that up with him on one side. Me and on the other, you got J.O., you got, you know, we hope to get uh, Rome back, you know. So, you, looking at this team on paper, man, it looks really, really good. It looks, it looks bright. Maybe frees up a lot for other guys, too. Like yeah. Saw at the end of that, that team period. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, a, uh, you know, A.G. is, you know, he's a guy who's going to blitz. He's going to bring pressure. So, um, he's going to open up for one-on-ones in, inside. You said you started a podcast? Yeah, I started a podcast. Uh, it's called broadcast. The broadcast. I go as Brock, so I, go, I call it the broadcast. Yeah. <laughs> you have like teammates on. Or something? Yeah, little teammates on. We're planning to do maybe get a couple of guys off the team maybe next week and you know have them on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think hard knocks gonna be perfect for it. <laughs> All right, appreciate you guys.